NBC News. This is Today. Four years now after the BP oil spill, there is still an impact that lingers. Crude oil pumped into the Gulf of Mexico for 87 days, you may recall, when the Deepwater Horizon oil platform exploded. It damaged what was already a delicate ecosystem. Wildlife advocates say the effects there are still being felt. The Weather Channel's Dave Malkoff has the story. Four years after the BP oil spill, the disaster is still causing death on the Mississippi Delta. There were hundreds and hundreds of nests here. David Muth, the director with the National Wildlife Federation, took us 20 miles into the marsh where that black tar choked the life out of what was once a baby pelican nursery. It's sad and it's sickening to watch the loss of a place like this. As recently as last year, there were pelicans here. Now, it's just dead sticks. You had anywhere from 25 to 30 feet of thick tar. Four years on, the tar isn't the problem. It's the oily sheen nobody ever cleaned up. So what you're seeing now is the effects of it moving up the food chain. That's predictable from what we know about past spills. That sheen was absorbed by tiny bacteria. But the real question is what are the long-term effects? And now wildlife advocates worry it could be working its way into dolphins and other large predators. Uh, they're still seeing uh, increased numbers of, of dead dolphins coming ashore. It's true a number of things may be killing dolphins along the Gulf Coast. Scientists and lawyers are still trying to work out the oil's exact environmental impact here. BP says they've already spent $14 billion in cleanup efforts and the oil company heads back to trial early next year for damages. So you can actually walk right out on here. Since the spill, many animal habitats here have simply eroded away. Yep, those areas that were heavily oiled are gone. There used to be a land bridge here, there used to be islands around here. Mm -hmm. Now they don't exist. They don't exist. Boat just one mile north and you'll find some good news. The state bird of Louisiana is thriving. Their eggs are ready to hatch next month despite losing their old home to the oil slick. Uh, they're gonna move where they have to move. Um, it's just that, uh, you know, we're running out of places for them to go to. For today, Dave Malkoff at the mouth of the Mississippi River in Louisiana. Up next, if you want to see pure.